So another short video coming up here. I spent quite a lot of time bending aluminum over the last week. And as you can see here, I'm using the template that they give you to line it up. And there's lots of going back and forth and checking and then rebending and then bending in the other angle. And it gets a little tedious, but it's actually kind of satisfying in the end to have something that fits really well. I did a little blacksmithing several years ago and made a couple of small items and this kind of reminded me of that except without the danger of the burning hot metal. This was by far the most physically difficult thing to do so far on the plane. It takes a lot of force and you'll see when I bend the other skin that I align the vice grips a little bit differently. The way that they show you in the pictures isn't necessarily the best way to do it. And moving both of them down to the aft end of the skin on the bending angles works better and gives you more leverage. I spent a lot of time putting the skins on and taking them off and bending things again just to make it fit as well as possible. I also had to make a trip down to the hangar to pick up the bulkhead that I had on the tail cone that's being stored down there since there obviously isn't a lot of extra room to store any parts in my garage. You can see some tape on here where I marked the holes that I was not supposed to drill yet and those get drilled in later once the um, tail cone is attached. And here you can see me revising the clamp that I had made for bending the aft skins of the fuselage. I'm not sure why you couldn't have made it this way in the very beginning before bending the aft fuselage skins. Uh, it just seems kind of silly to have to do it twice. I don't think it would have affected its functionality and I had to make a trip to a friend's house that had a table saw to get that done. So it looks like I have uh, probably about a hundred more holes to drill on these two front skins and then I'll take them all off and I will get started on the deburring and the dimpling. <laughs> 